Hello everyone, I'm Vite and have decided to join the Legends. Welcome to our third episode of the War Robots gameplay series. This episode will be about the Scorpion. If you find our content useful, please like, subscribe and click the bell button for alerts on future videos. The Scorpion is a light robot with one light and two medium weapon slots. Its ability is called Backstar, which enables it to teleport behind any robot within 350 meters range. When the ability is activated, the Scorpion enables a defense system that deflects 50% damage. Also, the Scorpion activates a built-in weapon that shoots yellow projectiles that cause dot effect or damage over time. It has 100 meters range. On top of all that, the Scorpion gets increased speed by 37%. With this ability, with this ability, you can use the element of surprise to take down most robots on low health. When this ability is clicked a second time, you teleport back to when you first activated. You only have 12 seconds though, and the cooldown is 18 seconds. The Scorpion isn't a frontline fighter, but is very effective at getting behind the enemy robots. It takes out robots on low health, which makes this robot most effective in team deathmatch. You may also use this robot speed for capturing beacons, but you may be killed or lose the beacon if multiple robots attack you at the same time. It is best to stay close to your teammates for protection. The Scorpion is also fairly good at free for all where it can steal kills easily. There are no friendly robots to protect you in free-for-all though, so you must make sure that no one is around when you teleport back after backstabbing a robot, otherwise you will most likely be killed. The most effective weapons to put on the Scorpion are weapons that do more damage at close range like 1 Gust and 2 Storm, 1 Halo and 2 Corona, or 1 Spark and 2 Scourge. Rocket weapons like 1 Penetrate and 2 Orkin or 1 Rhyme and 2 Cryo also work fairly well. The active modules I would recommend to use on the Scorpion are Deathmark and Phase Shift. The best passive modules in my opinion would be Cloaking Unit, Overdrive Unit and Thermonuclear Reactor. Try and make sure to teleport from a place that you can come back knowing that there won't be any enemy robots. This might be near your teammates or behind a wall. This is because the Scorpion doesn't have much health. Without its defense system and its element of surprise, it is fairly easy to kill. Watch out for robots that jump like Falcon, robots that fly like Aero Moon, robots that reflect damage like Leech, and robots that have area damage abilities like Arthur. This is because all these types of robots can avoid or counter the Scorpion's ability. Since this robot teleports approximately 5 to 10 meters behind the robot the Scorpion teleports to, the Scorpion has an advantage over robots with energy, ages, and impenetrable shields. These include Fujin, Carnage, Cerberus, Bulwark, Nemesis, and Ares. The Scorpion's two legendary pilots are Iskra and Ash Garsgard. Iskra, the first Scorpion pilot, enables the Scorpion to repair 5% of its durability over 3 seconds after its ability ends. The second pilot, Ash Garsgard, makes the Scorpion in stalk mode for 5 seconds after its ability is activated. I would rather use Ash Garsgard because you won't be damaged by the enemy when you teleport to them. Use the Scorpion's ability wisely. You can work together with your team and teleport to a robot that becomes weak without its ability, like Aerodrome, when it is near your teammates, and then teleport back straight away. This would usually make the robot use its ability in a panic. After the ability ends, the robot would be vulnerable to attacks from your teammates until the ability cooldown finishes. This strategy would work best out in the open. Thank you for watching episode 3 of our gameplay series. If you find this helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell button for future videos. I hope you learned something and we will see you next time.